to bring D to school. I've got Hudson with me. Lincoln's down for a nap. Today was a busy day. Uh, Hudson had a doctor's appointment at like 8.30 this morning, so I was up pretty early kind of just getting everything ready. Made some banana bread last night. It was so good. Even though I was practically scarfing it down because I also had to bring Landon to school this morning, so there was just a lot going on. But bringing Darren to school, waiting for the car to warm up. I wanted to talk about something really quick because I just saw this video. Actually, I've seen quite a few videos like on TikTok going around of these moms saying like, let's normalize driving a car that has like 190,000 miles and we're running it into the ground and that's me. Hi, that's me. We've been looking at new cars recently. Not new cars, but like new to us cars. We're looking for like a newer van or SUV. And I just praise the Lord that this van is still going, honestly. This thing is so loud when it turns on, but it's doing the job. And I'm just so thankful we have a car that can fit all of us because everything is so expensive. But Kevin has a job interview tomorrow morning and it's just everything that we've been praying for. So I just pray it goes really well tomorrow and you know, it'll definitely change our life because I've been the only one working and this job pays really well. It has benefits, paid time off, just everything. And it came out of the blue and it would be such a blessing if he could get it. So let's just go bring D to school. Are you ready? Ready. Ready, let's go. Let's go. We're back home now. Hudson is watching Blippi, if you couldn't already hear. I'm gonna get some lunch going. I'm not really sure what we're gonna eat, but I'm gonna throw something together and I'm gonna pick up the kitchen from earlier because it's a little bit messy. I also took stuff down from the top of the fridge. I like these two baskets where I keep like they're just like catch-all baskets. I'm gonna have to go through them and there's a bunch of silverware that needs to be put away. So yeah, I'm gonna try to be productive and pick up a little bit while Lincoln is still napping.
Maybe I could have seen it all coming That I wouldn't grow wiser for each day Am I the only one lost in translation? Where nothing... Uh-uh. Oh, go. Oh, am I in your way? I'm in your way? Oh, sorry. I may have taken the eggs out a little bit early, so they're kind of runny. I was hoping to make, like, deviled eggs and whip them up with some mayo and paprika, but they're kind of runny. So I'm hoping if I just let them rest for a minute, I'll be able to do that, but I'm not sure. So I threw some teriyaki sauce in with a rotisserie chicken. They have some cut up kiwi and the eggs. And I'm pretty sure Lincoln is up, so I'm gonna go get him. How are your grapes? Are they yummy? The boys have never had kiwi before. I don't know if Hudson has, but I definitely know that Lincoln's never have had kiwi, so I'm excited to see what his reaction will be. And because we just showed food the carpets, Lincoln will be eating in here. This is all the chicken right There's still some in the fridge. Like I so yummy yeah Kevin ended up going through and cutting Lincoln's hair and it looks so much better from the botched job that I tried to do I just wanted to like get that like rat hair out of the way it was like so long and then really long in front of his face but I have yet to style it and stuff so just leaving it as is but it looks so much better since he cut the sides in the back How's your chicken? Yummy? <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, eat the kiwi, buddy. I know. Hudson didn't want the kiwi. Do you want some of this? Mmm. Oh, that's really yeah. Cool. Kiwi. Let me eat some egg. <gasps> This is all that Lincoln ate. Nobody ate the kiwi. Hudson ate his eggs, but... Excuse me. Why did you throw the fork? So you're gonna but no one ate the kiwi. Hudson, I never you knew quite where I was. And suddenly you told me baby. The boys have been loving the magnet tiles recently. Lincoln kind of 
irritates the boys though because he just knocks down everything that they build. But for the most part, he's learning how to build them. Would you have a cow? Cow. Cow. Cow says, moo. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, you got food on your face. You gotta wipe your face. We took the black, whoa. Good job. We took the black carpet out of here. It kind of just opens up the room a lot more. Right now we're washing the cushions. Just trying to get everything clean. We did a little reset of the house, completely cleaned the couch. There were so many stains that we literally had to put so much elbow grease into because we don't have like a couch steamer, which I need one of those so badly. But this couch is gonna be going away soon. Today's video is sponsored by Briv. Briv is a smart air purifier that uses 90% natural and renewable materials. It is made to be completely recyclable. And I love that Briv removes pollutants from your home, such as harmful gases, dust, dirt, smoke, even pollen and pet dander. Our windows have been closed for so long because of the freezing weather, so it's nice to have an air purifier that's equivalent to having 3,043 houseplants, which I think is so cool. Houseplants can't naturally remove pollutants from the air, but Briv is designed to do that. Currently, they also have a Briv Pro for pre-order that is bigger and more powerful than the original Briv. It also has the option to add some essential oils to give your home that fresh, clean feeling. I will make sure to have both links, one for the Briv Pro and the Briv Original, if you're interested. And thank you so much to Briv for sponsoring today's video. It's already almost time for me to leave and get Darren. So I'm gonna quick pick up from lunch. And then I'm going to head out and get D. And then I think Kevin's going to get a haircut. And then tonight I'm going to church. It's the Bible study service that they have. And I'm really excited. I went to church Sunday. Um, I'm trying to go like multiple times a week. And I'm really excited. My friend is coming with me. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. That's at 7 though. Not sure what we're doing for dinner. Um... Yeah, I actually have no idea what we're doing for dinner. So that's a problem. Have to figure out what we're doing for that. I feel like I'm starting to hit a wall and I'm getting really tired. But at least the boys are playing peacefully. So I can clean all of this up. I'm still in the process of breaking my phone habit. And the only thing I want to do now, like after I've eaten, is just like sit and scroll on TikTok for a little while. And I know I shouldn't, but it's like, it's such an addiction. It's like crazy how much I want to do that right now. But powering through and honestly, vlogging is helping me because I need to be like productive in my videos. Like no one's going to watch me sit on my couch and like scroll on my phone. So it's good that like this is an outlet that keeps me motivated to like, you know, keep doing stuff because the kids are already watching TV. They're not going to mind if I sit down for like 15, 20 minutes on my phone. They're, you know, preoccupying themselves, but with this time, I'm gonna get some stuff done. Look, I did it. What? I Oh? Better. What's that? Better. Better? Oh, you're driving? I'm not really sure what that meant. <laughs> Darren's back home from school and Wait, will you sit with me? Ooh, what is that? <clears throat> okay, so now that Darren's back home from school, I wanna share with you guys the speech device that I was supposed to show you last time. Darren! Play. More. He hears it, so he knows. Oh. Ball. Everybody is very interested in this. Is it? Darren. You want to come do it? Darren just got home. He's eating a rice cake. So he's like in his own world right now. So this is what Darren's screen looks like. It has basically everything that he would need. And right now he is more drawn to 
in the play category, there is tickles and more. So right now he associates tickling with the more button because we didn't have tickles last time. <gasps> oh, absolutely not. No, we do not hit. Do not hit Darren, no. Be on your way. What are you guys building? We're not, he's building his own. He's building his own. I'm gonna start um on dinner. Okay. No throwing. All the boys are home from school now. I'm gonna start on dinner. What are you doing? You're all done? Well, why are you up there in the first place? Come here. Get down. Oh, we're gonna look in the drawers. Okay. Ugh, I just finished eating the rest of that banana bread and now I'm officially exhausted. Where my hair clip? Okay. All right, it is 4.30. I'm going to start dinner now because I am not really sure what to make. And I know the boys are probably going to get hungry within like the next half hour. We usually eat around like 5, 5.30 and then we start bedtime at like 6 and then the boys are in bed by like 6 37 just depending on who needs a bath and all that stuff so kevin right now is getting a haircut because he has an interview tomorrow so he's doing that i'm getting everything ready and then i'm gonna get all my stuff ready for church and i'm gonna find out if landon is coming with me i haven't been to the wednesday night services so i don't know if they have like anything for kids or if it's at like you know eight and older i don't know but Landon loves going to church and always asks. So if they do have something for kids his age, I'm going to bring him with me. I'm trying to get a sitter though so Kevin can come with me. Um, but I don't know if I can find one like last minute. I'm so tired. I feel like my brain is lagging and like having trouble getting the words out. <laughs> this fridge really gets on my nerves. I'm so blessed to have a fridge, but oh my gosh, it's made for like really tiny people. Like, I'm on my knees, and I'm still taller than this thing. Like, this fridge is so small. But while I'm down here, um, I have been making, I don't want to say decision, but I've been going back and forth with myself on starting 
to film short form content. There is this big trend going around where a lot of YouTubers are like quitting and realizing that there's more money and more viewers and more engagement. Careful. Filming short form content and hang on. And I would love to like film vlogs, but I have been making long form videos for almost six years now, five years now, five years. And the thought of like making short form vlogs, like, I don't know, it's like super intimidating. I don't like editing them. I feel like my phone makes everything look really weird. Like the lighting looks weird. It looks like it's filmed on like a Nokia like phone. Even though I have one of the newest iPhones, like mine is not looking crystal clear like all these other creators. And I think it's because I don't have a lot of natural lighting in my house and my Canon camera really like, you know, just evens everything out and brings that like natural lighting through the lens or however that stuff works. I have no idea, but my phone is not doing it. So I'm just like so conflicted. I feel like I have to move my camera around a bunch of ways. I don't know. But I feel like, you know, I'm never going to continue to grow unless I grow with the trends. So I think I'm going to start doing short form vlogs on here. Not permanently, like I'll still be doing my normal vlogs, but I'm going, I'm going to say once a week. I was going to say twice a week, but like, let's not shoot for that <laughs> at first. I'm going to do like one short form vlog a week and see how that goes if you guys like that. Because if that ends up doing better and I end up liking it, like I can post so many more. Yeah, Landon? Why? What are you doing? I'm going to do this. Uh, I gotta look through the fridge. What? Mm. <laughs> Landon just came up with a stick that he pretends is like a weapon and like always makes like fighting sounds and I constantly tell him to go do it in his room because it's so loud. So he's like, can you film in your room? Because I'm about to like mess these dudes up. What are we eating, people? What do we want for dinner? <coughs> I think I have chicken. I must have it in the freezer. <clears throat> he did. He put it in the freezer. Mmm. <coughs> cookies, carrot cookies, cookies. Thank you. Oh, you're in the fridge. Okay. Oh my goodness. Cookies. Away with you. Away with you. What are you doing? You're sitting down. Sit down. Sit down. You're making me nervous. Sit down. Why are you sitting down? It's not time to eat. <laughs> oh, you just want to play in the silverware drawer.
guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here a couple days later. Of course, like after dinner, things just got crazy and I went to church and it was really great. Landon did end up going with me. And actually, I had mentioned that Landon was like the only one going to church with me. We were a little bit nervous to go to church with Darren because we didn't know how he would like, you know, handle the nursery. We've been going two times a week, sometimes three times a week, and the boys are all loving it. They're all doing so great. Darren was a little hesitant the first day when I gave him my phone so we would have something to watch. He academically like cannot be in a classroom setting obviously without a teacher aid and it's church they don't have teacher aids so he stays in the nursery with Hudson they do songs like they have toys all sorts of things so it's just been going really well and also Kevin did get that job which praise God we are so happy about he will actually be starting next week so I will be solo mommy again throughout the day and i'm a little bit nervous because it's been like a year and a half since i've been home alone like i have had kevin here every single day to help so i'm a little bit nervous for that that might be you know a big change and something that i might struggle through just a little bit just because Landon's in school, Darren's in another school. It's gonna be a lot of running around just on my own, but I'm so excited. There's some big changes going on in our family and all good things, so I'm just very blessed and very thankful, but I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're not, follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I'll also be posting those short form videos on there. I did try to film one this morning, did not like the way it looked, um, so I think I'm gonna use my camera and just like turn it um, I just like the quality of my camera better than my phone. The lighting, again, just always looks weird, even if it's sunny. I don't know, maybe it's just my phone, but I have no idea. I'm still working on it, but I am in my uh, bathroom right now. I'm about to do, like, my skincare. Dime sent me a ton of skincare, and I have been loving it. My face has been, this is my face good, but my face has been breaking out, like, a ton there's just like little bumps everywhere. There used to be like giant ones on my face and I've been using this for like four or five days and it's been like calming it down and my skin just feels like soft, not as much texture as before. So I'm really loving this. I'll go in depth more in another video because I understand the hype of this stuff and like this stuff is like glass or like porcelain or something like the pet me with my nubs. You can't even hear it. Um, but the quality of this is just so nice. Like the packaging, very durable. So I'm loving Dime. But I'm about to do all that right now and then get ready for bed. So I just want to close out the vlog here. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.